See, because of the warm weather, the bees have moved to cluster over to here where there's all kind of stored honey. Fortunately, got one more month of winter left. Today's February 1st, and it's 60 degrees outside, and they're all out buzzing around doing their little cleansing flights. It's the first time they've been out of their hives since I can't remember when, but they're glad to be out after several weeks of serious cold temps this past January. Here they are, right there. It's got the observation hive. Hopefully they're in a raising brood. Kind of hard to see right there because that window is kind of fogged up, but see the light will help. There you go. Now you can see better. Yeah, it's moisture from the breathing. It's fogging up the hive window right there. Right there in the back, you can see all kind of comb right there. There's right here this comb and that one right there. Though you can't see it, but they're fused. So, once spring hits and gets time to do the first inspection, I'm going to have to fix that right there. Can't have that at all. But that's how bees are, unfortunately. They do what they want, but the best thing to do is get this quick as possible, then fix it. Just wish it wasn't so windy out today, because it would be warmer if it wasn't for the wind. There's the same area, but a little honey there for the meat. I'm sure they show more interest, but they're not. Here's my other hives wrapped with insulation. Not the prettiest insulation job in a beehive, but it works. It does keep them warm, and uh, there's also a piece in the top cover as well, too, to help keep the heat in. It's the first time I've ever had to insulate beehives before, but it's worth it. At least it'll be a lot warmer than they were before. The red hive in particular is the one I was worried about the most because they didn't have hardly anything, so I had to put two honey supers on it, which had frames three quarters of the way full of honey and gave it to them. And they're all whipping them supers, and I'm having to feed them as well, too. The hive also has to be fed, and uh, this one, too, but the one at the very end, though, after the blue hive is not being, doesn't need it, though, because they've still got plenty of food in there. They actually had quite a bit of stores in there. This hive here, I don't want to lose this one at all. This is my favorite hive. I can't wait to see them start building more comb out in this one and eventually fill the box up with comb. And right here, you see the moisture is warped from one of my bars right there, and that's why there's a gap there that needs to be there. So I'm about to pull out that bar and get rid of it. There it is, see it's warped. I'm going to have to take that bar out and replace it with another one, but right now it's got a comb attached to it. I could probably just move it towards the back of the hive instead. At the same time, my lid was also kind of up in the air, so I put this granite on top to help hold it down. Here they are, right there. I was kind of hoping this bee be crawling all over the honey, but they're not. Kind of wishing they were, though. Oh well. Here's the feeder I'm using inside of this one right here. Cut a hole through the lid and inside you can see a jar with, with food in it for them too. And yes, the bees are using it too. Turn the light on again so you can see. Whoa. Got an angry bee here looking at me. Get back. She's not happy. That bee flying around, she's just not happy.
here it is. And you see they're up in there too. That's where I want them at. So long as they're right there where the food is at, they're good. I was worried about this hive wintering because they all they have all these irregular cones of different shapes and sizes and everything and it makes it harder for them to, to winter cluster on, but hopefully if, if they, they make it through this last month of winter they can build them all out, make them they're all uniform. But uh, I'm glad I was able to give them to build up more than what they build out the combs they got right now and make more combs, but they still got a ways yet to go. Yep, you can see them down there, right there. See that? Zoom in. on the camera. Pull back slowly. Back slowly, I don't want her to attack me. She's flying around, she's not happy. Make it down low. Back to the 